Another school year is coming to an end. The class of 2018 have marched down the cathedral's aisle and received their diplomas, and they make us proud. 100% accepted into college, 89% of them going on to four-year colleges and universities across the country, over $16.5 million in merit awards. They have set some new school records. The other students are finishing their exams, looking ahead to summer, and we hope to the next school year, without, of course, trying to rush that start of the school year in August. Summer does mean all kinds of things, I believe, and for most of us, the word conjures, I imagine, a number of meanings. I hope most of us think about a little bit of relaxation, maybe some getting away on vacation, a different pace of some sort, and that's good. I know I look forward to it because the pace of a school year can sometimes keep on moving. Do you remember those summer reading assignments? Well, now I value summer for the opportunities to do a bit more reading, and there's a stack of books I'm waiting to get to. Do you remember those September assignments on how I spent my summer vacation? Well, maybe it's worth a little thought now making those plans to make sure we will have spent it in a positive and rewarding way. And for friars, particularly the ones in school ministry, summer is also the traditional time to make one's annual retreat. And that too is a blessing because retreats are a time for some prayerful reflection and it helps us to assure that one is doing what the Lord asks or maybe more importantly, how the Lord asks us to go about a particular ministry. Not everyone might think about a summer retreat, at least in the spiritual sense of it. But you know, I never hesitate to make that a recommendation in whatever form it might be. Maybe it'll be reading a good spiritual book or making a little pilgrimage to a sacred site or finding a new church to visit on Sunday when away for a vacation. All of those things add another dimension to summer and it's always worth the effort. So my wishes for a blessed summer, a relaxing, peace-filled, grace-filled and safe summer that's my prayer and wish for you today. And this is Father Donald here at Archbishop Crowley High School in Baltimore, wishing you as always the Lord's gift of peace.